Hi, welcome to my channel and this is episode 264 of our great tour of the famous series. In this episode, we return to Imlang Pilipino Memorial Park in Quezon City in search of notable individuals like our heroes, famous celebrities, musicians, politicians, sportsmen and businessmen interred in this part of Metro Manila. Um, join us to remember, celebrate the life, and visit the final resting place of a publicist, a PR man, and his driver that were abducted and brutally murdered at the height of Estrada administration. Located at the northern side of the cemetery, we found the Desert Mausoleum and the final resting place of murder victims Pubi Desert and Emmanuel Corbito. Salvador P. Desert was born on the 12th April 1934 in Albay. He was a publicist and PR man. The sir started in humble beginnings. He used to work as janitor and waiter to finance his college education. After graduation, the sir worked in broadcast media and rose from the ranks and established his name in the broadcast media industry. In 1996, his media company, Asia Pacific News and Features, took over the operations of DWAN AM radio station until 2004. The sir was one of the most influential men and the country's top PR consultant to the rich and powerful, a spin doctor for high-profile figures like President Ramos, Estrada, then Vice President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo, and gambling tycoon Dante Tan. On the 24th November year 2000, the sir in a white Toyota Revo driven by Corpito was on their way to lunch appointment at the Manila Hotel with former President Ramos. The two were abducted by at least five heavily armed men in broad daylight in a busy intersection of Zobel Rojas and South Superhighway in San Andres, Manila. Four days later, the sir's car was found abandoned in a shallow creek in Indangkabite with license plate removed and wiped clean for any useful fingerprint for identification. The arrest of two initial suspects, Jimmy Lopez and Alex Deloy, led NBI to the crime scene and recovered bones and teeth fragments. In April 2001, forensic experts from UP confirmed that the bones and teeth fragments recovered from Indacabite belong to Desert and Corpito. Pina-DNA ng NBI ang mga butong nakuha sa crime scene ng Desert Corbito murders. Yung mga, yung mga yung information doon sa mga nandoon noong time na yun. April 2001, ginawa ang DNA test. Wala na si Erap sa Malacanang. Hindi na si Lacson ang PNP chief. Ang appointee na ni President Arroyo na si NBI Director Reynaldo Waikoko ang nagpa-DNA ng mga buto sa UP Natural Science Institute. In December year 2000, NBI arrested Jimmy Lopez and Alex Tiloy, both are civilian agents of Presidential Anti-Organized Crime Task Force or PAOCTF. Based on testimony of Jimmy Lopez, six PAOC TF agents brought Tessera and Corbito in the very evening of November 24 at a garage owned by his brother, William Lopez. William strangled Tessera to death while another suspect, Digo de Pedro, strangled Corbito before the lifeless victims were set on fire while the six PAOC TF agents stood to ensure that the fire fully engulfed the bodies of Tessera and Corbito 
before leaving the crime scene. In April 2001, DOJ charged for double murder case 12 PAOC TF agents and 9 individuals including William Lopez, the one that is strangled the sir to death, Digo de Pedro, the one that is strangled Corbito to death, Jimmy Lopez, who was gunned down in September 2009 before appearing in local prosecutor's office, and Alex Deloy. In May 2001, DOJ then filed double murder charges against PAOC TF officials including Glenn Dumlao, Michael Ray Aquino, and Cesar Moncao. In June 2001, Glenn Dumlao was arrested and in his sworn affidavit, he said that former President Joseph Estrada and General Panfilo Larson might have knowledge of the murders, but both denied these accusations. Dumla also accused Aquino and Mangkao of their involvement of the planned murders. In July 2001, both Aquino and Mangkao fled to the United States while Dumla also fled in May 2003. Mangkao and Dumlao were extradited back to the Philippines in 2008. In June 2001, DOJ Secretary Hernando Perez cleared former President Joseph Estrada of any involvement in the murders due to lack of evidence. In 2009, Dumlao was also dropped from the list of the accused. In December 2011, Supreme Court cleared Senator Lacson of the Deserco Pito murder case. In December 2012, double murder case against Aquino was dismissed by Manila Regional Trial Court. In 2013, Mancao escaped from NBI custody and remained at large for four years until he surrendered to the authorities in 2017. He ran for 2019 election under my Pagasa party list representative but lost. In September 2020, Manka was appointed by President Duterte as PNP cybercrime chief. In the next episode, we will post the video of our recent visit of Manila North Cemetery and living in Amabayan in Tagig. Later in this channel, we will also post more Grade 2 videos including Loyola Memorial Park in Marikina and in Paranaque. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe if you like my channel. See you in our next Grade Tour of the Famous Episodes.